hi guys welcome to my channel um today i'm doing something different something new i'm making oatmeal banku now banku is one of the staple foods in ghana and it's normally made with corn of yeah it's made with corn or maize and um but today i'm gonna try something different and do it with oatmeal so let's go so first of all, I want to grind my oatmeal because it's kind of chunky and flaky and obviously when you're eating banku, you just don't want to have that um, flavor. You don't want to taste the oatmeal. Of course you taste the oatmeal, but you don't want to have the chunks in there. So I'm going to grind it till it's smooth and yeah. I want it really really smooth so it's like powder so I get exactly like that corn flavor perfect yeah it looks good looks really good now I'm gonna add a little bit of water um, because that's how you make manku <laughs> and a little bit of salt very necessary stir it a bit stir for a while um, you also don't want it lumpy you know um, when it gets lumpy there are some knots in it and it just doesn't make it tasty enough so you're gonna want to stir and stir basically that's that's banku you after you have it in water you just stir stir till it's thick enough add a little bit more water then you start actually um, stirring it harder and because it gets thicker and you want it thicker so you just keep stirring it till it's cooked it's now like soft looks good actually it really looks good <laughs> now I'm gonna do something I'm gonna try with the actual banku now I'm in Germany so I can't get the corn and the maize like how I get it back home um, so I'm gonna use a banku mix this you can get at any Afro shop in Germany just go in there and tell them you want banku mix I'm gonna add a little bit of water as I said earlier, it's normal. That's how you make banku and salt. Now, as I said earlier, banku is a mixture of corn and cassava. Um, but some try to eat it without the cassava. So when you go, just be specific. As I said earlier, you the main thing about banku is the stirring. You stir and stir and stir and stir till it's thick and not lumpy. Staring should have been lumpy. That is exactly how it looks. When you feel it's too thick, you could add some water and just let it cook. And then stir again. Stir till it's to your so how you want it basically. And um, it just has to cook. Mm, don't be alarmed that's how it's supposed to look it would get messy at first before it sticks together because of the water the water component now this is like uh, this is like hard work um the first time i tried it my i felt like my my hand work for the day was done you know <laughs> looks good so a few more stairs it should be done but now I like us to move on because banku has to be eaten with other things 
Um, now I'm just gonna make my pepper with paprika and this ginger and onions more onions and of course pepper now if you're someone who doesn't like too much pepper this is okay for you for someone who wants it a little bit hot and spicy add more I'm gonna add my salt of course and my tomatoes yeah that's what makes pepper pepper now normally this would be grinded in an asanka um, but for your sakes I'm doing it in a blender I'll add my water and blend and that is the pepper yeah so this is red pepper in ghana you eat it with banku mainly and kenke so it's perfect for a banku now let's work on the fish this is my favorite part of the meal very very important <laughs> um so first of all you want to gut the fish you want to cut things that are not necessary to be around the fish um that is the tail the fin you yeah just cut everything that is not eatable from the fish just watch how i do it and Now I'm gonna just um, soak my fish in salt water for a while. Um, yeah, so it has good flavor. That tastes good. Let's get to the frying. Of course, you want to. The important thing about frying is you need your oil. Once it's hot, you just um, take your fish out of the salt water and just dip it into some flour mixed with a little bit of salt again and just for the coating, you know, so it's kind of it gives it a little crispy taste. Um, yeah. I'm going to tan it. Till I will basically keep doing this till the fish is actually fried. Um, so both sides have a good portion of the oil and can fry properly. And voila! So the little banku in the little bowl there is the oatmeal, and that's the main banku, and I'm garnishing it. it looks good, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, like and subscribe if you like this. Bye.